Hi there guys, Luis from Vintage Action. It's good to be back with you guys. I hope you're all well. And guys, today I'll be talking to you guys about the Terminator on 4K. This one here, guys, is the still book that's been released like uh, literally two days ago uh, here in the UK and it was released in US as well. It's the new release of the Terminator 40th anniversary on 4K. Actually, I got this one earlier. I got this one Saturday and I actually watched the movie like um, yesterday, this 4K, as you can see behind me. This is the cool uh, main menu uh, for the Terminator. That's the 4K disc inside. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll be talking to you about this like uh, amazing 4K transfer from the Terminator 40th anniversary, the long awaited like 4K release of this one. We had the Terminator 2 that a lot of people didn't like the, the transfer to this day. Everyone is asking for a new transfer that was done by Studio Canal or T2. And now we have the original one on the 40th anniversary and it was released by Warner Brothers. I mean, this one is like a MGM movie. Uh, as you can see, original Orion like a uh, movie in when it was released in 84. MGM owns the rights. And as you might know, if you are big fans, usually Warner Brothers, they are the ones releasing uh, the, I mean, the big ones from, from MGM. So yeah, guys, let me show you. This one was the uh, collector's edition steel book. There is like a, standard release as well 4k with the slip cover this is the nice cool steel book let me show you guys the inside here like the blu-ray disc the 4k disc uh it's popped in in the 4k player uh this is the j card this is like a cool artwork arnold uh on the inside uh let me show you guys here the the inside of the the, the steel book uh, and actually the artwork of the actual uh, 4k disc is really cool as well it's a nice like uh, like skeleton or like like similar to that one you see there on the screen and uh, let me show you guys here the the j card to this one as you can see here like a uh, limited edition steel book uh 40th anniversary the terminator and here like uh, like uh, the logo Warner Brothers releasing this one to uh, MGM. MGM owns the rights. Dolby Atmos, uh, as you can see here, uh, DTS Ultra HD Premium 4K uh, HDR. And uh, yeah, guys, I watched this one yesterday and it looked amazing. There are some people, you know, there's always critics uh, online saying, you know, uh, there is like AI to, they redone it. I mean, it's too clean, it's too perfect. But uh, in a way, uh, people still say that the true lies is the one that, uh, I mean, I, I liked it. I mean, the transfer when for, uh, for um, it was released, true lies was released by Disney, like early on the, the year, right? So uh, like Aliens and a lot of James Cameron movies like uh, Titanic and everything. So I did like the transfer of true lies. You can see they use AI um, to do the the 4k usually is not like a straight like a transfer from the 35 uh, millimeter and they do the scan to 4k uh, there's not much like grain that uh, you know the fans the you know the crazy fans they like that grain typical from the 80s and the and the 90s and you don't see that a lot on um, on true lies that's true you can see the dnr they can see it, uh, they use some ai to uh, you know uh, sometimes it look a little bit artificial but um, i mean overall i think it was like a good transfer but this one is having a lot of like uh, um, better reviews when it comes to the to the to the transfer the 4k you can see some grain you can see probably they use some ai but i think um the transfer is amazing obviously way better than t2 because t2 is like uh, you know it's like super controversial that uh, uh 4k scan from uh, that uh, was done by Lionsgate, uh, not Lionsgate, like uh, studio canal because studio canal are the ones that uh, owns the um, they own the rights of uh, t2 and the Lionsgate they are the ones releasing in the us uh most of the studio canal movies uh, that they own everything that was from um um uh, you know the karaoke movies are owned most of them by studio canal 
and they release it like worldwide and usually uh, Lionsgate are a partner of like Studio Canal and they release those uh, so let's see probably we'll have like uh, uh, soon uh, they'll do like a new scan a new transfer and uh, we'll have like a new uh, like release of uh, T2, a new 4K that will be great. But this one, guys, it's amazing. I mean, this one has been like sold out. Uh, I think I saw like yesterday, Zabi were like um, reselling this one again, was like uh, back uh, back in stock. I mean, you, the the regular like 4K with the slip cover costs roughly like uh, 20 pounds here in the UK, in the US probably 25 euros. This one, the price was, I pre-ordered this when it came out straight away cost like a 30 it was 30 pounds the the price uh I had like a 20 percent off on this one but the original price was like um 30 pounds so uh and obviously you can find this on ebay but people selling it this one for like crazy crazy prices uh but the the, the regular 4k you can get it and actually the regular uh like uh, 4k with the sleep cover look really cool the artwork arnold with the sunglasses on i mean i had pre-ordered this one even though even uh way before like the um, the regular like 4k with the sleep cover was announced i didn't even know this one was the one that was like put for like uh um uh, pre-sale pre-order straight away then uh, a lot months uh after that they they put the regular like um uh 4k uh, release with the sleep cover uh to people to start buying that one as well but yeah guys this one is a really cool as you can see really nice cool still book uh I mean, the artwork is really cool. You don't see Arnold here. I mean, some people were a little bit like surprised. They would uh, have prefer like the original, something like the original poster. Here, just Arnold. You see just like the skeleton. You see Michael Bean, Linda Hamilton. And, uh, but uh, it's really cool. Um, when it comes to the transfer, I will talk to you uh, uh, about the transfer, guys. For me, it looks really, uh, really good transfer. You can still, you still have some grain, way better than the Terminator 2, definitely. Uh, when it comes to the special features, unfortunately, guys, this is the same special features uh, we had on the DVD like more than 20 years ago. I still have this one on DVD back in Portugal. And those here are exactly the same uh extra special features like creating the terminator visual effects and music the terminator closer to the real thing unstoppable force the legacy of the terminator seven deleted scenes it's unfortunate that there is no new special features uh, i don't know how involved like james cameron was on this one because all the previous like Disney like uh, releases uh, early on the year, like the Aliens, the True Lies, uh, there were new special features and you knew that James Cameron was involved with that and both movies had new special features, like actual True Lies had like a new documentary. I don't know this one because maybe it was MGM and, and it was Warner Brothers releasing this one. He was not that involved, but it's always like a shame when uh, a great movie like this one, one of the most iconic uh, classics uh, of all time, uh, doesn't have like um, a new documentary, but uh, you know, this one is a classic, guys. Uh, James Cameron, 1984, Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, Michael Bean, you have like Lance Harrickson, uh, another like uh, uh, amazing like uh, actor that you know from Aliens, Hard Target with Van Damme. He was in many cult classics as well. You have like even that um, initial scene when Nardo, Arnold is like bare naked and if he, he fights like you know those like junkies on the in the street. Yeah, you have like a Bill Bill Paxton there and. Um, um, so, and, and you have like Brian Thompson as well. So imagine two guys that became like uh, super popular as well. Not as big as Arnold, uh, obviously, but you know, if you like, like action movies and especially B action movies, you know, Brian Thompson, he was, uh, um, uh, he, st he started with Stallone on Cobra and, uh, even in Lionheart with, uh, with Van Damme and Bill Paxton, he had an amazing career as well. He was on True Lies, Twisters, uh, I mean, Rest in his soul in peace. I mean, he passed away many years ago. But yeah, I mean, uh, a cult classic, guys. And uh, as always, I'm here on the on this channel to uh, to share these new 4K releases, blue 
uh, uh, Ray releases as well. And it's been a long since the last time I've been here with you guys, but you know, it's like busy life. So don't always have like time to be on the channel and to review, unbox these like um, cult classics, especially the ones from the 80s and uh, from the 90s. But uh, yeah, I'll be here uh, more often now, um, you know, reviewing these cult classics that you you like. And uh, let me know, guys, if you are excited about uh, this release, the 40th anniversary, the 4K of Terminator. If you're going to buy this one, if you already bought this one, if you couldn't care less, if you have the Blu-ray, the DVD as well. So because like uh, there is no new special features, but uh, it's a new 4K scan and it's uh, worth it. It's a good, solid 4K scan. And, uh, you know, it's always amazing to watch like a, a movie like this one with these special effects and a cult classic on 4K. And uh, let me know, guys, what you think about this one. Uh, if this one was one of your favorites growing up as well. I remember as a kid, I mean, watching these like countless times. This this one was always on, on, on TV uh, all the time. And I watched this like countless times growing up. It was literally one of my favorites, this one and T2 as well. I mean, probably T2 is like uh, one of the, if you compare this one to T2, most people would say that T2 is uh, the favorite, uh, right? Compared to this one, Arnold came back as a good guy. This one is the villain, is the bad guy, but uh, they will not be like a T2 uh, without the, the original Terminator. And to be honest, this one is like a darker movie, kind of like there is bits in a movie, it's like, um, uh, that sense is like you are like in a horror movie, you know, it's darker, uh, you know, the Terminator 2 that I love it is like one of the best movies ever, uh, you know, it's like more family movies, more like friendly, in a way it's not as dark as like gore violent as the original Terminator, so uh, definitely it's one that I had to have in my, my collection, I have all the Terminators now, so there's only one left uh, that is not being released on 4K, that's Terminator 3. Now we have the first one, the second one, and the last two or three that Schwarzenegger just basically has like a cameo in the last two or three, like Terminators, the most recent ones. But we just uh, need the third one on 4K that is owned by Columbia Pictures, so hopefully Sony will release that one. And yeah, guys, let me know what you think about the Terminator on 4K and in general let me know what you think about this movie if this one was one of your favorites as well growing up and as always guys your opinion is important to me I like you guys like to share it's an important like bond I'm just a big fan like you guys of action martial art movies especially from the 80s and the 90s and I'm I'm here just to share with you guys like uh, my passion and uh, all these new releases and yeah guys uh, keep strong and uh, I'll be with you guys soon uh, talking unboxing reviewing all these cult classics from the 80s and the 90s keep strong guys